All right, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rosh Hakodesh, that wanders to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the like Ankim Wa'akwath, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. Another video through the Spirit. All right, this is your brother uh, Malak here from GMS Detroit. It's going to be a response to the good news video done by the elder apostle Ramlav, you know, and other brothers have been doing it. And then I happen to, you know, I happen to come across a clip last night on Instagram. You know, actually, I came across the clip first on Instagram, and then I just learned about this video, the good, no good news video, you know, this Saturday morning, you know, here in Detroit, we'll be going out for camp, you know, in a few, all right? And so it all lines up. And the fact of the matter is, you know, you had some guys from WFI, they're like, you know, basically they, 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 came to the conclusion, you know, the spirit came upon them, you know, and now they are properly going to teach what the mark is and they don't care regardless of, you know, what their leaders think. They're going to follow the truth. And that is some good news because ultimately y'all, you know, this, this ain't no GMS versus this versus that. We're not here to camp gangbang with nobody. This is about doing what the Lord commanded of us which is to wake up the flock and to feed the sheep. And not only that, but to do it sincerely because you can feed the bullshit. Uh, you can feed the sheep bullshit, but you got to feed them this truth, that which is needful for salvation. All right. Now, so, you know, our efforts aren't in vain, y'all. You know, we, we do a lot of hair pulling, kicking and screaming against Jake, but there will be the ones who, you know, are, are, are coming over to the bright side and not just because we're over here calling ourselves GMS. This song got nothing to do with name and title. It's all about the truth. All right. You know, the Lord could have put it on the spirit of the apostles to call us anything. You know, the name of our group. It's just, a, you know, it's just how you know who's teaching what. All right. So let's let the video play. We'll get some scriptures. Call today. In the uh, GMS South Carolina camp, <clears throat> just found out from the brother Yashalom of the New York camp, just brought to my attention <clears throat> that there was an individual from one of the Wi-Fi camps that pretty much saw, you know, the debate that's been going on the last couple of weeks between Wi-Fi, you know, and us, GMS, and he wants to leave. Well, he, you know, he said he's going to teach, you know, he still got the Wi-Fi name. He's about a year in, and um, he wants to leave them. Well, actually, he just, he's, at first he said, you know, he was just going to teach the right breakdown of the MOTB, but he still has the Wi-Fi name, so he asked if he should leave them or not. And I say leave them and go start your own thing, you know, and see how the spirit works it out. Now, I'm going to read this real quick. I'm pretty sure the elder read, read it in his video. Like I said, this just came to my attention. This was done about 17 hours ago, which was yesterday, of course. I didn't know anything about it. just found out about it myself. So I'm going to read the brother's comment. His name is Gospel of the Kingdom. It says, uh, Shalom Ak, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakatai. And by the way, this was a comment that he posted to the brother, to the brother's page, Yawan, which used to be in South Carolina now he's in Dallas in the Dallas camp so he says Shalom I've got a question I'm dealing with this subject here I'm a brother that's in Watchmen for Israel St. Louis camp and I've been observing everything that's been going on these past two weeks concerning the market the, MO, the MOTB and I am 100% in agreement with GMS on the MOTB, being the RFID micro C hip. You know, I said, you know, he put the actual word. I couldn't hold my tongue any longer, and I told the brothers in my camp that our leadership is going off and why I think so. To my surprise, some were. Let me uh, pause it real quick actually in agreement with me i told them that i am going to teach the proper breakdown on the motb on this channel even though it's contrary to what uh wi-fi teaches i'm just less than a year into the truth and yahweh bashem Shai has blessed me with enough un uh, knowledge to teach what would you say that i should do should i leave the camp completely and start teaching on my own and i say yes you know and I know, I'm pretty sure El Apostle Tahar uh, either got wind of it already or is, is you know, is getting wind of it. And um, I'm pretty sure, you know, he would say the same thing. Now, 
you know, I don't know if the spirit will jump on the apostle to tell a brother, you know, to uh, join the GMS camp or just, you know, go out there and teach. And, you know, so the, the, the apostle, you know, fellow apostle Ram, I was breaking it down. So the dude, you know, the spirit hit him, y'all, because this is deadly serious. You know, we're not this ain't camp banging. This is about the truth. All right. And, and let me get this to start out of James and I'm going to get this other uh, little thing that I found on Instagram that I thought was interesting. James 5 and 20, it says, let him know that he that converteth a sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. All right. All right, Slakia, yeah. uh, James 5 and 20, let him know that he which converteth a sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. And that's what we are ultimately out there to do. Convert error, uh, convert sinners from the errors of their ways. So now that man, you know, now he may go on to have a couple brothers go with him, but ultimately he himself, he has pulled, you know, well, the, the spirit power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, this wisdom has pulled him out of the darkness, you know, that he was about to find himself enveloped in. Had he took that mark and ultimately found himself himself in those flames. And that's, that's what we're out here to do. Ultimately, we're not out here to bang Oh, you G M S G. Uh, nah, <laughs> we out here to uh, wake up Jacob, if you will, specifically the elect, because that those are our targets, which goes to show you, as the apostles always say, there will be elect brothers and sisters that are amongst the other camps as of now. All right, simply put, Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. You know, he woke all of us up in our own lane and avenues. You know, we all had to be you know, taught up in our own way because we all have different minds and spirits. So his spirit, for whatever reason, first clung to WFI, but after seeing the altercation, now he knows what the mark is. All right. You know, and I, you know, I'm not getting no super deep scriptures. I just wanted to highlight this. You know, what we're doing is not in vain, y'all. So that, that's why we do these responses and these reactions, because when somebody goes off, if the correction isn't given, then everybody will fall into the ditch. All right. If the blind is leading the blind, everybody's going to fall into the ditch. Let me get this scripture out of Luke. All right. Like I said, nothing, nothing deep, you know, basic scriptures, Luke uh, 15 and 10. It says, uh, you know, I can start up and deal with the parable, right? Uh, matter of fact, y'all, I want to use this. Uh, let me see. Because this, this is de dealing with a parable if a man finds his sheep, literally. I want to do another video real quick, probably later on after camp, more more likely. I found the, I got these two clips dealing with sheep. And I'm going to compare them to how, you know, we're sheep. It's actually uh, pretty pertinent, right? But, so, uh, I'm going to just start off with this parable. We're going to deal with this parable a bit. So, this is going to be Luke 15. All right, now the parable is literally being, you know, it's being likened. He's using sheep to fulfill the parable. All right, so... Luke 15, and I'm going to start at verse uh, 4. It says, What man of you, having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost until he find it? And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. All right. So this is the first half of the parable. And the first half, first half, literally uses sheep to show it. You know, anybody, you can apply this with anything. When you were a kid, you know, you got all your toys. You lost your favorite toy. You was hurt. You walking around that bitch moping. Well, now the spirit is reclaiming us, bringing us back to this truth. And as it says, the angels rejoice when one of us come back to the truth. Why? Because that's one of the elect being pulled out of the fire from the coming destruction. That's what we're set up here to do. That's why we go hard against other cans. We don't got nothing against y'all. We in slavery like y'all. We don't give a damn about you personally. This is about the sheep. And if you feed the sheep wrong, that's where we gonna step in. And, 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 and now if you wanna have a problem with that, then you can have that problem. And we gonna get, and it's gonna get settled 
when the Lord returns. He's going to prove who's been right. And we going to see. All right? This mark is deadly fucking serious. We can't afford to be guessing. All right? When you jump, uh, I'm going to keep reading. Uh, verse 7. Uh, no, okay, so 8. It says, either what woman having 10 pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, doth not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she find it. And when she hath found it, she calleth her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I which I had lost. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of Yahweh over one sinner that repenteth come. So the angels are happy at seeing that man repent. Now, however many may go with him, it may roll over well for him. And not only that he believes in the mark, but that he also, you know, gets, gets the rest of his conduct together. You know, because we all, hey, you know, just keeping it real. Being in WFI, you know, they don't got no older men being over them. So he has to, he's going to have to uh, acclimate, get acclimated, you know, to the, to the brothers and, you know, to the new system, if you will. So when another verse came to mind, then we'll get the other clip. Now we'll get this out of Jude real quick. All right, sometimes we got to talk harsh. Sometimes we got to curse y'all out. Sometimes we got to, you know, make fun of you to get you to wake up. If I got to jar grab you and jar you and shake you for you to wake up then it is what it is jude 1 and uh 23 all right here okay uh let's see let's see we'll just start right here so you know uh you get the basis jude 1 and 20 it says but ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the holy spirit all right so we're building in the faith right it says, keep yourselves in the love of Yahweh, looking for the mercy of our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, unto eternal life. And some have compassion, making a difference. So while we're doing this building, some you can be more compassionate to. They're easier to deal with. They, they're not as hard-headed. You know, you can be soft-spoken and more courteous with them, if you will, right? But what? Verse 23. And others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire hating even the garment spotted by the flesh all right so others we got to come we got to come hardcore on you others we got to come yoke you up spiritually with our words with these scriptures with these video episodes to wake you the hell up so we just saving you with the fear that's all you know don't get all you know twisted bent out of shape we just doing what our lord commanded of us all right it says and others save with fear pull them out of the fire we're literally trying to pull jake out of the potential of those nukes, the ones who are, you know, going to be of the elect. All right, so next clip. Now, this video is actually like completely unrelated to what's going on right now. This is a video simply, this is I found off Instagram. This is simply exposing how many of those hospital beds, they don't even properly clean them, y'all. They just throw duct tape on them. Man, motherfuckers be pissing, shitting, bleeding, dying on them beds, right? And body flus can carry illnesses. Um, that can be passed on micro tears. So, you know, the video itself is already, you know, I could easily have thrown this into one of the, you know, modern day madness and prophecies, but actually I clicked on the comments, you know, one of my pastimes is going through the comments, right? You scrolling through, I'm scrolling through, I'm reading comments. One of the comments that I came across, oh, don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. Hang on. Okay. There we go. There we go. There's one person put a comment right here. It says, this is what happens when you overpay doctors and nurses. I just clicked on replies randomly. I wanted to see, you know, uh, what she meant by that. I'm going to assume to, I, I believe she put that to show that, you know, all the money is going to the doctors and nurses when more money could be put in, could be putting, could be being put into the equipment. And some person right here posted this, their name being, do not be afraid, just have faith. Damn, y'all. Hey, this is... The, do not be afraid. Just have faith. Let's read this comment, y'all. Out of the out of the fucking blue. Through the spirit. Alright. It says, please take heed. The world as we know it will very soon be changed forever. And nothing will go back to the way it once was. You need some commas in that mug. It says, a mass blackout. Massive earthquakes. Massive tsunamis. Empty shells and grocery stores. Stock up now. Famine and war across the nations will very soon come upon the earth. What does this sound like? This sounds like scripture. All right. She's trying her best to quote it. It looks like it said, God loves you so much. Please have a watch. And she is posting links to the channel of Sherry Shriner, which Sherry Shriner was a truther. I'm under, you know, I didn't, uh, I, she's 
deceased now, from what I understand, right? Uh, now she's a little bit parts of, she's going off right here, says aliens are demons who eat and kill children in underground bases. You know, she's bugged out. That's incorrect, right? But what did she get right? It says the mark of the uh will also be implemented very soon, which comes in the form of a small C hibbity, all right? The size of a grain of rice. It will be enforced upon the nations. It will soon be made mandatory. It will be inserted in the hand or the forehead. Revelations 13 to 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Let him that hath understanding, that's 18 now, uh, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is, and she put, 666 six, six, but it actually says uh, was it uh, 603 score and 6 in the actual 18th verse she says do not take the coming sea hip it will change your DNA and will make you permanently irredeemable alright this truth is out here y'all I came across this last night I was like damn and then I came across this video that morning so or this morning so this, this is what inspired me I'm putting the two together y'all the elect is going to see it. The elect is going to see it. All right. The elect is going to see it. All else are blind. I'm going to get this and I'll end with this. Those who aren't going to see it, those who don't want to wake up. Hey, somebody has to fulfill the bad side of prophecies too, y'all. That's something that we have to understand as well. Psalm 69, Psalm 69 and 22. Let their table become a snare before them, and that which have sh and that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened that they see not, and make their loins continually to shake. This truth, this Bible, these scriptures, these verses, this prophecy, which is for our welfare, it's supposed to be to teach you this knowledge. That many Jake is tripped up, trapped up, and and destroyed because they can't get it. They are darkened. Their spirits are darkened. They can't see. It says, pour out thine indignation upon them and let thy wrathful anger uh, take hold of them. Plain and simple, y'all. You know, so that's it. So, hey, that's a good thing, y'all. We're out here doing this work. You know, each one teach one. You know, so we, there's going to be more of this. And, you know, as those brothers and sisters convert over from the, from the other schools of thought, you know, if, if as long as they show themselves to be diligent and sincere, you know, we're going to show y'all love. We're not niggas and demons over here. All right, we're going to show y'all that same type of love we show each other because this is, we not, this ain't about no camp banging bullshit. We fishing for the elect, as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai told us to do. And after the fishing is done, we're going to become the fucking hunters. All right, so with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Makakadash, to honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the Akim Wa'akwa, learning, teaching, and truth, and sincerity. Shalom.